Here we go, sharing my tasting notes for grilled southern peach tea from the uh, Great Mississippi Tea Company, grown right here in the USA in uh, Brookhaven, Mississippi. And you see the ingredients there, black magnolia tea and delta oolong tea. So this is a blend of two of their teas which is kind of cool. Um, both of those teas are award-winning. I'll share that when I get to my notes. It um, all, I think they spelt oolong wrong on the package. <laughs> but um, it also says it has dried peaches, which I did not see any evidence of, and peach extract. And the cool part is it's cold smoked with pe pecan, 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 however you want to say it, wood. <laughs> so I, I picture people in the South saying pecan. <laughs> um, pecan. Pecan. That's how I think I say it. Anyway, so I was excited about this one for several reasons. One, it's grown in the USA. And two, uh, it. I wanted to try the black magnolia because they made it sound like it was their traditional um, classic tea and also I love smoked tea so um, anyway uh, there are the tea brewing instructions so here's what the leaves look like now I did kind of pick them apart like I always do so um, you can see what the leaves look like Back here, you see I pulled out some sticks. So this tea does have some sticks in it. Now I've learned that, you know, sometimes that's not a good thing because people add sticks to add weight, um, but then the sticks don't really add anything to the tea. Um, and it takes down the, the grading of the tea. And then we turn around and we have things like the sticks and stem teas like Cochicha and the other ones that are all sticks and stems that I really love. And so I, I don't know myself what to think about that. So I was trying to figure out which one was the black and the oolong. And I did see, you see that uh, this one right here. I'm assuming, whoops, knocked to that. I'm assuming that this is the uh, oolong that's in there because it does look different than the rest, but I only saw one piece of that. Um, unless you call that little lighter one there, also the same. Um, it was just hard for me to distinguish. So it, it's, of my opinion, this is more of the black magnolia tea than the Delta, but I really don't know. So here's what the wet leaves look like. Um, you can see some of them are kind of still green, not as oxidized. And a lot of them are brown. This is after the second steep. And here's the color of the liquor for you to see. It's a beautiful golden color. So that's that, and we'll move on to uh, my tasting notes on my computer. Um, so this is the Great Mississippi Tea Company. There's today's date, the two kinds that are in this blend. Um, and they say, I, for processing, I just wrote down notes about cold smoked with pecan wood. And uh, we said, what's cold smoking? Because I guess we are not meat smokers. We have never actually done that. Um, and so I kind of uh, looked it up with um, reference to uh, tea and to um, smoking meats. And online I read that cold smoke, that to cold smoke the wood is put in a basket, not in a complete circle. I took this snippet off a, a YouTube video <clears throat> and it is lit and then allowed to slowly burn around the circle. You don't want a full circle because uh, then it'll burn both ways. 
And so this guy said three, four hours, this little basket would, you know, smoke. Um, and uh, he had it in uh, like his grill with uh, his meat. So, um, and it would seem that I learned and something I would like, I think it'd be more fun to try is cold smoking uh, cheese. I know I like smoked tea, cheese, but now I'm curious how they smoke cheese. I may have to go to YouTube. Um, and from Wikipedia, when I was searching about teas for lap song, Sushong, one of my other favorite teas, is uh, smoking is accomplished either as a cold smoke of raw leaves as they are processed or as hot smoke of previously processed leaves so there are two different times during processing that you can um, smoke leaves and apparently the cold smoke is done with the raw at least on lap song and the hot smoke is done afterwards so you can do both with teas um i really wanted to try this tea because I love pecans and I love smoked teas and I love that it's grown in the USA. I also like uh, black and oolong, but wanted to try their black magnolia as well. Their website no longer has the Delta oolong. It has a couple other ones on there for me to read about, but I did see a reference that the Delta oolong won the silver medal in 2018 in Global Tea Championships. So they blended two of their teas together and added dried peaches and peach extract. And it does not say if that, uh, I'm going to move my screen. I think I got some white glare. It does not say whether that's natural or artificial extract, which I know that's important to a lot of people. And I prefer to see the difference listed as well. And um, you see, I saw no dried peaches. Nope, didn't see them. Um, now from the package, I already read that. Notes from the website. Um, You can kind of read uh, what it says there, kind of repeats everything I already said. There are some notes I got from the website regarding Black Magnolia, um, which also won first place in the non-commercial division of the T of the United States Awards in 2015. And it says this tea has uh, flavor notes of sweet potato, molasses, malt, and stone fruit. So I'm sure that the uh, the, fla the notes of the black magnolia in combination with the pecan smoking and the flavoring really um, was helpful to give this tea a success. So when I was Googling online, I was like, oh, there's recipes out there for grilled southern peaches. So I grabbed a screenshot of one of them. She put some uh, uh, whipped topping on top of hers. But basically, you put some olive oil on the peach and you put it on the grill until it gets the grill marks and it kind of caramelizes it. So um, that kind of is very helpful for me to grab the essence of this tea is to consider what real grilled peaches um are like and then i also saw recipes to infuse grilled southern peaches in tea so there's a picture of somebody who had done it that i grabbed off a line so you could actually um, take any tea and um, it, i think it's the caramelization of the peach would really change the flavor of infusing with real peaches over just putting pe i've put just peaches in tea before I'm not a big fan of peach tea, but i kind of a fan of this tea. There's your color. Now, smoked smells are under the earthy aroma flavor. And then I did get the, the fruit. So the dried leaves were fun to smell. They, they were kind of light and airy at first. That was kind of what I got. Uh, but the more I smelled it, the more pleasant it was, and the more I just had to sniff it. Um... 
It was, and it definitely had a, the smoke flavor in the aroma, as well as some of the peach. The smoke came over more than the peach. Um, but the wet leaves, oh my gosh, these leaves, they smelt amazing. Like as soon as it started steeping, I could smell it uh, coming up. The same uh, smell as I smelt in the bag that was a lighter scent. But this, I could just sit and, and sniff those. And they really, really do smell like a grilled peach. I mean, it's just amazing. It's just like magical <laughs> to to see all those other things about this type of tea, the the uh, that the 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 black tea that's in this blend has a sweet potato kind of note to it, and nope, I smell peach. I was kind of hopeful for a pecan taste. Did I go too far? I think I put my notes in the wrong spot. Uh, but the combination of smoking in the tea leaves and flavoring only resulted in grilled peach. Does not come off as smoky per se, but more the caramelized peaches, which is so darn interesting. For body, I gave it full. Now, I rarely give teas a full body, and sometimes I wonder if my personal scale, like when I taste things and I have this range of what I'm looking for personally is off. I wonder if mine's off because I rarely put anything as full, but this one immediately gave me that sense of a full body, which is kind of cool. Like, I don't know if it's, uh, it was still smooth, but yet it had, uh, more of that pulpy that you would expect from a peach. Does that make sense? But still very, very smooth. Um, astringency low, and I love how smooth the tea tastes. I love low astringent tea. Um, let me, I'm going to taste this one here. This is my second steep, and I haven't uh, tasted it. Ah, and I brewed it longer, so I wanted to check the astringency, and we're still A-OK. -okay. And the tasting notes, whoops, a grilled peach. Yep, tastes just like the wet leaves smell. I do not like flavorings in my tea at all, but I cannot taste this, that this has a flavoring, which is an A+. Plus. Um, sometimes I drink teas, then you could just tell. It's the only, the only thing given that tea flavor is the flavoring. And not with this one. The The flavoring is done just right. You can't tell it's in there. It's just um, subtle enough to enhance the uh, smoking and the, the taste of the leaves. Uh, so done just right. And um, that's the way flavoring should be used. Uh, my finish I have as juicy and mouth watering and then my afterthought was well yeah something peachy should be juicy <laughs> and I did give it four and a half stars I don't have a graphic with a half I really like this tea and would almost keep it on hand I would give it four and a half stars I just don't think it's kind of a little expensive to keep on hand but I almost want to keep it on hand so that I can let my guests try it. <laughs> that's that's my thought. It's like, hey, I don't want to share this tea with others. <laughs> and it's grown in Missouri, in, uh, not Missouri, in uh, USA. So you should try this one. It's really good. And so that was my thought process. But I would definitely uh, buy it again. Hope you enjoyed my notes.